Happy Saturday, gang. Yellow Brick Bullion here. I uh, wanted to make a video and show you the latest pickups and got something really cool to show you at the end, but we will save that for last. Uh, picked up a couple of constitutional dimes, 1936 and a 1927. These aren't in terrible shape. They're uh, not too worn. I was excited to get both of these. And then also got a one ounce Philharmonic. This is my first Philharmonic to add to the stack. That was pretty cool. I found a new spot where I picked these up. I was out with my wife the other day and uh, driving down the road and I saw a new spot. It said gold and silver in the window. So ran in and uh, got a great score. Now this is what was really cool. I'm super excited about this. I found an 1875 trade dollar. I've been wanting to get one of these for the collection for a while. Uh, the United States used to use these to uh, settle debts for import export. Um, these are actually kind of hard to find. Um, and they've been counterfeited a lot. So to find an original 1875, I say they're hard to find. They're more difficult to find in the United States for a good price. There's actually quite a few of them in Japan because that's where a lot of our trading was. So um, this is pretty cool, real money. So uh, apparently when countries used to exchange goods, they, uh, they wanted to use real money to pay for the product. So this silver trade dollar. It's pretty cool. And if I understand the history right, it was sort of modeled after the uh, Spanish silver coins. Uh, the real, real maybe? Might be saying that wrong. Uh, if you have more information about the US trade dollars, go ahead and put that down in the comment. And what are you stacking right now with gold and silver going down? Um, what are you adding to the stack? All right, this is YBB out. Hope you guys have a great weekend. God bless.